you have really hit the elite of the sport. Do you believe that on September 26th, you and your brother will show that the Charlo twins are indeed the future of boxing? Indeed, we will, we will show it. We will get a chance to, you know, let everyone in the world see, you know, the great thing that me and my twin brother has done for the sport of boxing. I'm curious, Mo, uh, what is it like for you and your brother to be training in Texas, uh, Houston, and we know how that pandemic has been raging there? Has it been hard getting sparring, things of that nature at all, Jamal? I mean, not really, but, you know, of course, the, the pandemic made things like separate, you know, from uh, working out every day to like, you know, you know, working when we can. So, I mean, I work out, I work out at home here, so it hasn't been too tough for me. Jamel, Jamal, man, Sergey Derevinchenko. We saw a tough fight with him and Jacobs. We saw him fight Triple G. A number of people thought he won that fight against Triple G. Jamal, do you see this as the toughest test that you faced at middleweight? I mean, every fight is tough. Uh, I'm coming in prepared. Um, this, yeah, of course, this guy is, uh, he's rated, you know, number one in the world. So uh, he's going to take a job serious and so am I. My question is for Jamal. Jamal, uh, what did you think of Derevianchenko's performance against Gennady Golovkin? And did you think that he won the fight? Nah, um, he didn't win the fight. But, I mean, he definitely made it a lot closer than a lot of people probably expected. Um, I, don't, I don't think people knew um, that Sergi's um, style, you know, they haven't seen him so, as much as they've seen Golovkin. But, like, the, like I said, the fight played out, and um, it was a lot closer than people expected it to be. But um, he, didn't, he didn't win the fight. Jamal, what what do you think it will say to people? You win this fight, like I'm sure you're expecting to win it. What do you think? What message does it send? To I mean, it lets them know that I'm ready for those big fights, the fights that everyone's asking me about. You know, the Canelo, the GGG fight. Uh, this guy's been in there with some some uh, tough competition, but he's lost both times. So, you know, um, it's still it's still going to put out like you know numbers of questions for for people to, to doubt me. But you know, it's part of it's part of boxing. I, it's a step up fight for me, I guess, um, in, the, in the eyes of some people. But I'm ready to fight. Uh, Danny Jacobs and uh, and Golovkin were able to put him down, but they couldn't put him out. What would it mean for you to knock him out? It would definitely deliver a statement to the to the world of boxing um, to let them know that yeah, the power is for real, and 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 I can get in there with just about anybody. First of all, thank you for your time. It's great seeing all you guys again. Uh, I was curious to know how you guys felt about fighting or without fans, but you answered that. Now, what, do you guys have any predictions heading into these big fights? Starting with Jamal, how do you see this fight? The Sergey Derevchenko action-packed fight. The fans love it. How do you see this playing out? Um, I feel like we're gonna we're gonna both meet in the middle of the ring and we're gonna let our hands go. Um, let the best men win. Um, my game plan will, will be to shut this game plan down so you know it's boxing. So we'll be able to see what, what goes on um, the night of the fight.